Next up on WTV, Letter Jackets, this week's edition of My Life Fast and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today's Thursday, January 30th, and I'm Yael Evan with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Last night, a new set of students filled the halls in the annual Rising Freshman event. WTV's Kirthi Gumadi has the recap. Last night, campus filled with soon-to-be familiar faces as 8th graders explored the many courses Liberty has to offer. In an open house setting, incoming freshmen and their parents were able to visit an array of booths hosted by teachers and current Red Hawks. It's for upcoming freshmen that will be attending Liberty High School and it's for them to get a chance to see some of the courses and electives that they can take next year. The event has provided students with a chance to learn more about programs offered on campus. Meeting the representatives gave them a more comprehensive look at high school. I just thought it would be a good idea to like come out and see what's going on, you know, like um, if I was to look at like a thespian place, like a thespian club, I would like automatically go there because I love theater. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kirsi Gamadi. After making orders in early November, letter jackets are finally arriving on campus and into the arms of qualified and excited students. WTV's Amelia Howdigy has the story. With red sleeves, patches, and pride in repping their name, many students are putting on their letterman jackets for the first time. Well, I've been waiting for a long time since we ordered it back in November. I just kind of felt like this is the moment that I get my jacket because I've been waiting for it for so long that I was just so happy to finally have it. To receive it, I guess it feels good because it makes you feel like you accomplished something uh, being on varsity um, and you get to show it off, I guess. I thought it was cool how you can customize and stuff like that, so I'm able to put like a message on the back under my name or something like that. The qualifications for earning a jacket differs across sports. Well, for cross country, you have to run varsity for a good majority of the meets, especially run at districts if you want to um, be, uh, if you want to letter in the sport, there's no exact formula on how you do it. I had to work during the summer to, uh, to get on the varsity for football so that I could get the letterman and then I had to, I had to play obviously to get it, so yeah. Reporting for WTV, this is Abelia Howdicke. In this week's edition of My Life Fast, WTV takes a look into the life of swimmer Jacob Lynn. So at practice, we, uh, depending on what day it is, sometimes we'll get in first, sometimes we'll do another thing, like Monday we'll swim first and then have dry lands, which is like running, lifting, stuff like that after. And then Tuesday and Thursday we start with dry land, Wednesday we have a team meeting and then swim, and then Fridays all swim. So in a typical swim practice we'll warm up first do a drill or kick set, and then we'll go into a main set, which is the hard part of the practice where you gotta get up and go fast. And then after the main set, we'll probably just cool down. I think we all have a good shot at making state, especially our girls, because our re girls relay in the medley got first, and there we had a lot of district champions coming out of our girls team. And I'm seated pretty well personally for the 200 IM, so I'm excited to see how things turn out. WTV's Walker Shippy gives you a preview of wrestling on today's Sports Minute. Wrestling competes tonight in dual meets versus Reedy and Centennial. The competition starts at 5 o'clock at Reedy High School. Now, with a look at the battle for playoffs in District 9 5A Soccer, WTV's Caleb Hendricks. The boys and girls of District 9 5A Soccer season is well underway, with both teams having played several games so far. Considered by many high school soccer experts as one of the toughest districts in the state, winning games isn't easy. Really like to make playoffs. I mean, it's, we've, we've got the talent, it'll be a struggle just because it's, our district's tough. Um, but it's. We can compete well. We can compete well in the playoffs. Any Frisco team can. The girls soccer team is in the thick of the race for the district championships, but simply getting to the playoffs is a challenge in District 95A. Um, it's just extremely competitive, and there's so much that can be learned in the competitive environment, especially at the high school level. So um, I'm just I'm excited for everything that they're going to learn through through district play, through that level of competition, and really raising the bar for themselves. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kayla Hendricks. If you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. 
The PAL Student Ambassador course application is now open. Upcoming juniors and seniors are invited to apply for this prestigious program. Applications for the 2020-2021 Red Rhythm Dance Team are now open. If interested, please attend the required parent and candidate tryout meeting on February 5th in the library from 6 to 7 p.m. Wingspan is looking for current freshmen, sophomores, or juniors that want to be a part of a nationally award-winning website. Students on the Wingspan staff choose what they want to work on with options including staff reporter, opinion writers, podcasters, photographers, and graphic artists. If interested, please visit room C102 for more information. If you are interested in participating in 14 Days of Love, visit bit.ly slash 2ru2d7u. That's it for today's daily update. This is Yael Evan from Wingspan TV.